Hi, how's it going? Welcome to Down With This, videos where we dive into the highs and lows of living with a disability and together find our way to the center of the two extremes. My name is Miguel and today we're talking about the importance of exposure. The reason I'm talking about this topic this week is because I'm feeling inspired. Uh, this morning, I had the opportunity to witness and be part of um, a little girl's, um, I guess, becoming an advocate for herself. And um, this little girl, uh, she's at most nine years old. Um, and she got together her, um, her classmates to tell them about uh, cerebral palsy and what that was. Obviously, um, she had the help of her counselor and her parents and you know her the rest of her teachers uh, to kind of hold this assembly of sorts um, and it was just amazing to be there um, I was invited just because um, the counselor happens to be one of my friends and uh, since he knows that I'm involved you know in talking about disability he's um, he thought that it'd be good for um, the other kids and as well as the little girl who was speaking to kind of see um, that it is possible to I guess grow older <laughs> with the disability um, <laughs> go gracefully with age I, I, I guess uh, fall gracefully with age I guess um, so yeah that's why I was there I was more there to uh, support her and just know that she wasn't alone right um, I barely said anything, and I think that the things that I did say kind of went over the kids' head because I wasn't prepared to uh, talk to, I think, third or third graders? Yeah, third, fourth graders. Um, yeah, so some of the things that I said um, I think might have gone over their head, but um, oh well. I Like I said, I only said like two sentences, and that's fine with me because the the little girl, I'm just so blown away by her strength and her courage um, because she's the one that talked with her parents and her parents were there as well um, but she's the one with the idea just seeing her kind of explain with the help of her parents which they did an amazing job about explaining you know what CP is and how um, your brain doesn't communicate well with um, the rest of your body that sort of stuff they explained it so well the little girl uh, kind of set this up in a show-and-tell type of thing she had her mom take some of her uh, braces that she used to wear and she showed the kids um, how she put the braces on, how she took them off, how she could walk without them, how the braces were just there to support her, um, you know, uh, while she walks and just everything. My, I think I'm still trying to like process myself um, just how big this was because again, I was just <laughs> basically standing there in awe of the parents and then in awe of the little girl um, just because exposure to people with disabilities is a big thing and um, and holding this even like 20 minute info session about it I can tell impacted not just her classmates um, but her teachers as well um, and it's such, it's such a big thing. I had the opportunity to also talk with their parents a little bit about how, you know, it's been for them. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's not an easy thing. And one of the struggles that the little girl is starting to see is that there aren't many people with disabilities, right? So she, in one part of her, she feels like she was all alone. And it's a real thing. Um, Anyway, I just kind of wanted to share this because it motivated me to do this channel even more to take down with this uh, to kind of keep it going. I am totally blown away. I, the little girl is just always smiling as well, really happy, really confident for her age. Like I told her parents, for her to want to be able to do this and you know, stand up there in front of her classmates and talk about this. It's such a big thing and I have no doubt in my mind that she's gonna 
do amazing things uh, and help other people. Uh, I'm grateful that I could uh, witness this and just be part of it uh, in some small way. I hope that this opens a path for a conversation. Uh, one of the things that I did mention to the rest of the kids were, was to not be afraid to ask her questions about her disability because it's always worse to assume, right? Just go ahead and ask. Most people with disabilities would rather tell you than, uh, you know, have you like secretly uh, be thinking like that we got run over or something. I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm very proud of the little girl. I'm proud of her parents and the strength both of them, her mom and her dad both. You could tell that they care so much for her da for their daughter and yeah, I don't know. That that I don't know. It just part of the reason why I think it hit me so much was because her story mirrored my my own um a lot. And then just thinking back at how how it was for me and my family and just seeing them now um yeah it was it was a great it was a great gift for me to to be able to witness this i think that's where i'm going to end it end this video and i'll probably do another one once i finish processing what happened um about you know if you don't have a disability um you don't be afraid to like make friends with people with disabilities or um, if you have a disability really try to put yourself out there in uncomfortable situations where you might be the only person with a disability because that can make you don't know who that's impacting right and even if it's in the future right like for me what I saw um, today like these kids are gonna get impacted for years to come for their whole life they're gonna remember this like that moment they're gonna remember it and the little girl is probably gonna remember it her parents are gonna remember it um, so really if you do have a disability don't be afraid don't be afraid uh, to really uh, put yourself out there uh, <laughs> alright now I'm actually ending this video but I know it was a little all over the place but I wanted to share with you guys my experience um, that I had and um, what I'm actually feeling right now I, I don't know if it's coming across but it's like a combination of like uh, gratefulness um, I, I don't even know how to describe it I, I guess I feel like there's a lot of work that needs to be done so we need to get working. We need to get going. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And join me in giving disability a little bit more visibility by sharing this video with someone who will enjoy it or might benefit from hearing this message. Like always, I hope you have a great rest of your day, a rest of your week, and I'll see you on the next one.